eyes about four hundred to go. Yeah. Did you think you were trying to reel her in, or? You know, when I was visualizing a perfect race in the weeks leading up to this, I said maybe Shadow will be coming back to me, maybe whoever's in front of me will be coming back to me. So for a split second, I thought that was happening, but she stayed strong, and I just knew I needed to keep fighting off people behind me because who the heck knows what's going on there. What were your thoughts on the time you put down? Still, very fast time for yourself. And yeah, yeah, big PR for me, and I'm just really happy with the way I competed. So um, that's really all I'm out here to do, especially in the indoor season. Is be competitive and get some tactics down and be ready. You know, my grace is out. With two laps to go, kind of jostling for position back there. At all concerned that there were so many people in contention? A little bit, because the people who are ahead of me are really, really accomplished and good finishers. So, you know, it's going to be a fight to get past them. But um, part of me wanted to just settle in and say I could probably run a fast time in the back. But um, the other part of me said, Coach is going to be very unhappy if you do that. <laughs> I'm running this fast early on in the season. Or or even before outdoors begins. Yeah. What's, what were your thoughts on that? Um, it just shows that training's going well and I'm healthy and I'm really enjoying the process and those two factors hopefully lead to fast times and that's working out so far. 3K a few weeks ago now, why else do you have an event at US Indoors that you think you're going to Yeah, we're going to focus on the 3K, so um, a lot of training is geared towards that and that's what I'm entered in and I'm committed to it. What's the reasoning behind choosing 3K over 15? Um, we like to do a little bit of over distance in the winter, particularly because I train outdoors um, through the winter. And DC gets really nice weather, but at the same time we do have to make some adjustments for the cold and the wind. So um, over distance is a little easier to train through in the cold, and uh, it's only going to help me in the 15 later on. Uh, you're rocking a different uh, sponsor. Can you talk about the process of uh, switching to Nike? Yeah, um, it was really uh, a tough you know, process leaving Wazel. They're a great, great company, great people, um, but they were very supportive as I kind of made transitions. and. Um, took an opportunity that, that was going to help me develop my running. So I'm um, really, really happy with being with Nike. Uh, They're really been very supportive and it um, was just a lot of fun. How much of Rockaway was in the house today? Uh, probably about half. <laughs> you probably heard them. They, uh, they pretty much block out the finish line section and uh, they're all really, really happy and excited. I couldn't finish first or last today and they'd be cheering just as loud. So that was really a definite bonus and advantage for me. What, what are your goals? Obviously, make it back to Olympic team. Do you have any personal time goals that you want to hit? Like, Just keep getting better, but compete and finish finish higher than last year. You know, times are, are important and they're exciting, but really it's about competing for me. So um, if I can finish higher in races this year than I did last year, I'll be really happy with my season. You've been in a bunch of, like, really, you know, competitive and, like, historic races. You were in Monaco and then the World Championships. Like, what does this tell you about, like, competing against other women in, you know, from different countries? Yeah, I mean, you, you need that exposure to them, and uh, you know, Monaco is a great example. I maybe wasn't quite ready for that race, and you know, there's a world record, American record in it, but I stay strong, and I need to be exposed to that so I can adapt to it and understand what it feels like. So, um, it only makes me a better runner. Were you surprised a little bit about your development over the last four years, considering where you were? I guess watching trials from home. And yeah, you know, I guess I never really expected to get to this point. I just uh, was hoping to get better and you know keep uh, developing as a person and as an athlete and. Um, this really is a dream come true. I've got a, a lot of blessings in my life, and um, this is one of them. So I'm just really happy, and I want to keep going as, as long as I can. Can Sammy Dubai broke the world record in this event earlier this week? I mean, I'm sure you heard about it. What are your thoughts on that time? She's an incredible athlete, and in uh, and really. Uh, running some historic races and times and it's kind of cool to be you know not necessarily a part of it but in in the same era so um, I don't think I'll be running a 413 anytime soon but it's uh, I'm really happy that she's kind of pulling the rest of us along with her you know it's really a, it's a ripple effect so it's only going to raise the bar right, I mean that gap between her and everyone else is just so large do you think like oh, man, is it fair or like what do you how do you just think about that gap between her and the rest of the world I mean all, she works hard and uh, I believe she's doing it um, through hard work and great coaching and patience and she's a really gifted athlete and, and you, you see that um, you know every once in a while like I said it just makes the sport um, better because people strive for those times and people get faster and uh, it's just it's exciting to be uh, in the same era as it given up that